Hello, my name is Keith Pallison, and I work here at the Penitentiary of New Mexico, and I am currently a Correctional Officer Specialist Locksmith. I'm in control of all the different keys that we have here in the facility. If a key gets broken, they bring it to me. If a lock needs replaced, I replace it. If a door goes down, I replace the motors. When it comes to securing the facility, that's my job. You have to have a strong heart. You got to have a strong will to survive. Because every day you come here, bad stuff happens. You think about your safety. Are you willing to put your life down? And are you willing to face 12 inmates versus you at any given time? Every day inside prison, it's a routine. Almost the same time, same place, same thing every single day. Changes could mean life or death for an officer or an inmate. Level 6 here at PNM is completely different from, from all the different units that, have, that we have here. Level 6, we actually have STGs, we have the security threat groups. We have the gang members, you know, we got California Sureños, we've got a Sindicato de Nueva Mexico, you know, gang, gangs like that. You know, and these gangs are rival gangs, you know, they're always going after each other. You know, so to keep them segregated from each other is a goal, you know, not only for the safety for the inmates, but the safety for ourselves as well. But the way we treat level six is definitely different from like level five or level two. Level two is dorm room, level five has got open population. Here at the six, you know, you're locked down 23 seven. But as of all levels being the same, I would actually have to say level two would probably be more dangerous than any of the rest. I would actually feel a little bit safer only because of the strict movement that we have. That is two officers on one inmate at any given time. There's always backup close by. No matter what kind of crime these people have done, you as an officer have to look past that. Their crimes isn't my business. And even though they're inmates, they're still people. Treat them like a person. Treat them like a human being.